detail about the Milex internet kiosk. Oh, am I audible to everyone? Uh, yeah, am I audible? Yes. Yeah, thank you. So, a very good evening to everyone. And this is Inclusion and Development, the Malik Internet Kiosk. So, getting started, first of all, I would like to thank the audience for coming and thanking the organization for inviting me to speak here. It makes me feel proud uh, about your presence and connect me to the audience like an electric plug into the socket. Why an electric plug like uh, why an electric plug like in socket? I will tell you just later. It's an honor to be here, and you are the light. Make the sacrifice to come here. Thank you. So you are really going to enjoy 25 minutes next, and I am going to share you some of the most important ideas that we have discovered since the last year. Thankful to Malix team, I'm here to represent the Malix. So this I am. I am recognized by Tarun Kumar. I am the student in Indian Institute of Technology, Patna, a B.Tech student. I am in third year and I am an electrical engineer representing computer science stuffs. Last year, I worked for GSOC. I was a mentor in GCI 17 and Code Heat 17. I work in many repos, but for the FOSS Asia, I work for Malix, Bache, Labyrinth, Lokluck, my website is suecode.me. You can find all the details over there. OK. <coughs> so we are in conference. I would like to have interactive session this. Not like I just talk, I say, and I want interactions from you also. So everyone knows we are in conference. Then what we don't want to get happen during presentation? Someone? Presentation, what we don't want to get happen means huh? okay that's not in our hand <laughs> next quite audio exactly <laughs> okay let's notification notification pop up if now I am presenting one of my friends just pop up where are you man that's quite disturb me as well as you the next screen shaver sleep mode and screen dimming i am going to represent i am speaking continuously five minutes on a slide and oh the screen is went off next system sounds while i am playing a video some system sound pop up it's like hesitation to us okay just forget everything let's change the topic the next is programming workshop so what are the basic necessity in a programming workshop or a hackathon Okay, w necessity by the organizer means what are the things that a work organizer needs to be set up in the workshop? Desktop. Desktop, exactly. Okay, the organizer needs to make clones, clones of computers. He wanted to give each and every computer with the same facility. <coughs> each, so he want to make a clone. He have around twenty to thirty uh, computers and organizing each system with the same configuration personalization next setting up each computer with the same configuration and personalization so how he do that okay any any solution how he do that okay Talking about almost the same hardware, or you have very very similar hardware, but once you are a little bit left or right, that's it, you're gone. No, no, different hardware's may be there, <laughs> because a because if UNESCO is coming here to organize the workshop, and here are few systems. So I'm talking about a hard disk can be one kilobyte out of place, and that's it, you're gone. That is how how sensitive it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard disk bigger, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Any any bit. Wait, I got I got a error message when hard disk was bigger. Yes, I got it before. No, no, no. Now it's okay. Now lah. Okay. So basically, what people does or the organizer does, they use a live image with the pre-installed software, and they boot into the system. 
in the means uh, just take an example of an android workshop they should have android development android studio like things visual studio git and like that so i just talk they have a live image with the pre installed software they put into the system and found all the configurations over there is this thing exist still yet a, a, a pen drive with a live boot uh, having the ability to live boot and all all the all are the steps are over there means if you want a certain library certain packages certain configuration of softwares in the pen drive you just plug in and uh, you just start over there only means you don't have to bring your computer you just have your computer in your pen drive is it possible till now no na okay <laughs> let's change the topic again okay what's are the requirement of an os if you have an os an operating system what do you require to have in it you mostly require an editor but most of the people uh, most of the os come with an inbuilt editor just suppose emac oh i don't like everything typing i like sublime so you emac is also taking some space sublime will also take some space if you are very conscious of space you will uh, uninstall uh, emac and install sublime but not much conscious you have both of them player some people want gnome player some people want vlc player office messenger etc means everyone has its own different desire so why uh, the next question is why people don't reset their system often so i want your reviews Me reset means reinstalling your system means you find some bug in the system and you don't know how to uh, correct that bug so someone said oh reset the system or format the system but say no my data would be lost something like that the people say so Uh huh. Every six months. Yes, every six months. Every six months, you do that. Six months, there's a new install. Yes. But bring a pen drive along and install. Actually, in the past, there used to be this this application called Synaptic that can can customize your. Uh, installation to be inside a pen drive and install everything okay so what i think peop yeah <laughs> so mostly people don't reset their system because they are fear of data loss they don't want to get their data loss but this is not the most concerned reason since we have lots of data on our cloud only secondly setting off of environment if you set up your computer in such a way that you love it personalization if you see someone's computer you say oh, wow you hide your task bar you hide your menu bar oh how did you bring that option over there i get that in uh, preference oh that's look quite good so these are the things you made it possible and if you just clean everything it look just as simple as used uh, Um, as used means it's just a and you are packages you installed some packages and if you wanted to for you want to users set up git set up nginx everything but if the system just washed away and reset you have to again do app get install softwares and internal software settings you have some desired configuration in chrome you disable your bookmark bar you of some particular home page you have to do it again so introducing malix malix divided into two mali in china means beautiful <laughs> and alex loving it extremely so it's a beautiful os we love it extremely next what are its feature it's based on lubuntu 32 bit kernel meta repository there are meta packages i learned meta packages meta packages just last year and it is quite useful it has the ability to customize the os from scratch you have the power to select the software which you need to be in your os you don't have to run 
out, go there, uninstall the Emac, install Sublime. You just select <coughs> Sublime from the scratch. You just set everything from the scratch. Personalization of a specific software. You can even personalize inside of a software. You can even uh, personalize inside of a Chrome. Means if you want uh, the search engine to be this only at the beginning. If you want your search engine to be Bing at the beginning, you don't have to install. Usually, what we do, we install Google to be the default search engine. We go there and set it to Bing. But you can do it from the scratch. Next, how to use this feature? So I just told Malix. It has the code repository over on GitHub. You have to go there, understand the readme, and uh, make changes in the code. You have to first understand the whole repository. So we will bring you another solution. You don't have to do this. Introducing Dynamo. So what's a Dynamo is? Anyone? Exactly. We have OFO cycles over there. So what it does, it just have a dynamo over there. When we ride, it turns the mechanical energy into the electrical energy. So you don't have to go there, read the code base. We introduce a dynamo, which is the generator. And it's generating Melix. And it will give you an ISO with, the, with your own configuration that you want. You don't have to go there and read the code. So why dynamo only? It's an autonomous tool. A web app will, which will make an ISO for you. So it's quite simpler. So for getting an ISO, you have to use Melix. And there are two ways. First, edit the source. Quite uncommon and only for developers. The second is the web app for everyone who they can get the desired ISO just by filling a form, form on a web app. This is the home, home screen of the web app. It's now features, it's in a beta, and it just features a few things. An email ID, an event name, an event link, an upload wallpaper, and the build button. You just have to enter your email. I will talk about this later. Event name, you since uh, at a time many persons can use. So it can be used to distinguish between different users. Means uh, if someone using FOSS Asia Summit, so if uh, the same other person uses FOSS Asia Summit, the same means event name is going to be as a commit. So it's basically to make the difference. You can't use the same email, same event name again and again. It will say that this has been used already. You have to change it. The link. I said when you install a browser, you have a default home page. You can put here what that default home page should be. And that would be the default home page of the browser. The upload wallpaper. When you start an operating system, it has its own wallpaper with the developers who made it, set it. But you can give its own, our your own. Next, OK. I only told how the code making the OS, now the web app. It's just magic. The web app is developing an ISO for you. It hasn't been invented or hasn't been discovered before. So this is how it does. The web app takes now taking in three inputs, event name, wallpaper and home page URL, which is having a tra means thanks to Travis API. Malix uses Travis to get built. Whenever a commit has been made in Malix, it uses the Travis triggers automatically, the continuous integration. And the Travis deployed the ISO in the GitHub release. And one who wants to download it, go to the GitHub release and download the ISO. But in the web app, we trigger the ISO through the web app. Sorry, we trigger the Travis through the web app. While we just click on we just click on the build button, the commit will be made with the event name, and that will trigger the Travis with the same name, and it will create an ISO for you. You don't have to make a, make any changes in the code, and the tag commit will release an ISO. Okay. Fine. Till now, any questions? Yeah. 
how can we choose emac and all you know specific and yeah yeah these are the future aspects and now we are only providing these two options oh. if it feel interesting to you we are welcome to you as a developer in our community this is a community driven project so iso release then guess what iso release so download. next is what ha huh, so from where you will download yep. i said means i am going to give this project to common users he don't know get up i will explain no oh, huh? exactly email so we are going to mail them the iso link i ask He, uh, the person the email on, on the very first uh, form so email will be sent to him using send grid within 10 minutes thanks to my who has discovered this we are means we invested weeks to get this means most of the other staffs are not able to mail us so what are the takeaways you are able to generate an iso with your desired configuration within 15 minutes just from your mobile phone generate an iso for such conferences and next year we want to get it developed in such a way that we don't want such unix linux like things we use we have to use means we want to use malix throughout the force asia summit since now we are using open event web app for event a to, for getting uh, tickets next generate for distributing to friends okay i just before said that you saw someone's computer and like and miss it happens with everyone if you saw someone's computer you saw oh great how did you do that would you please come and do it my in my own system if you use this you said okay i am just sending you a link you go there and choose the configuration and you will get your own save for future oh if you have to reset your system go and reset every day you just get the same system again the next day so these are the works that i did in the last year gsoc it malix was uh, one year before in lxd and it was converted to lxqt it takes me completely a month to do that mario just asking me what you are doing why not happening but it's such a complicated process thanks to yawi he's a developer and one of my mentor helped me a lot to do this fill some color we don't have any ply mouth theme we don't have any icon in the malix we implemented that <coughs> add ubiquity for have only live view till that time but we uh, abhishek we so he was the malix developer before me he has done it just few months ago and it's just permanent means if you want malix for your desktop you don't want to live boot you if you so much for malix you just have want to use malix you can install it permanently on your desktop this is a screen of malix and this is first live boot there you have to click install malix and you get such option you just have to go through some languages date setup time zone and you can install in your hard drive next talking about extinctions malix system log so don't look at here we usually see in a school where computers are set up so what happen we call students the uh, come for the lab so what what the problems the lab uh, in which later face after the students go away in the systems mm -hmm. huh. the students make everything dirty they create nonsense files on the desktop and they change the settings everything that so here is the solution <laughs> yeah install their own software, their own software. <laughs> so here is the solution my system lock the maintainer of the lab will freeze the system in a state as soon as you click on the freeze it will it will freeze in the at state the person come the student came he will do what are the nonsense stuff he want to do again a student get uh, do do the stuff make the thing dirty then just the maintainer has to reboot the system it will go again to the state from which it is was freezes the solution isn't it great <laughs> the second exchange yeah this is the screen of that that is the system lock freeze unfreeze 
if you wanted to unfreeze this you can unfreeze at that time or reboot will unfreeze automatically freeze the system in some state lxqt the desktop yeah yeah that depends upon your requirement if uh, if you currently, want currently, currently, for this free. currently you have to do it manually per computer, per computer. Okay. you can change the source code for yourself and automatically get freezes but at what time do you want to get freeze that's the thing then after unfreezing it will take you to the same state so this is Alex QT desktop the second is the mu doublet by harsh okay who are Linux users here Debian uh, I'm going inside uh -huh. you want to okay Fedora arch oh cool Gentoo LFS <laughs> okay 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 <laughs> great so if a fedora person who uses just yum and you gave them a debian uh you want to and you ask him to install something what will he do you have to go there and if you want to install git you have to search for the command to install git apt get install i use software which? Okay. Okay. So this is quite different. You just have to type whatever you want means uh, the way to install JIT in Fedora. Just type in con uh, in a Debian in a Ubuntu. The type the command of Fedora in in Ubuntu system to install JIT. It will convert into apt get and it will install JIT. It works for apt yum pkg. Means only, yeah. So script like a login project called package script. Package script is exactly this. It's for all distributions. Okay. Also snap, 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 Okay. Means this was doubled by Harsh. So I and it was it it is using in Malix. Okay, that would be means I also know some things here. So fine. So after several iterations we have some final Malix desktop and it looks like this this is un aim minus a which gives all the information Linux hotel OS 4.10.0.42 the kernel version and something is written i686 32-bit the roadblock project will turn it to 64-bit Okay, 25 minutes fast, and this is the Thanksgiving session. Harsh Lathwal, the co the co person with me who worked with me in the last year, Tapsin. Thanks to him. Without without these people, this project wouldn't be possible. Nico Nico Kunzman, he lives he live in Germany. He helped me a lot. Yao. He is a Debian person and the stall which is in the exhibition room, uh, people are there who know Yao. Abhishek V. Ashok, he uh, he's a great person. He is only in university and in his is a uh, sorry pre university student and he study in 11th class, 11th standard. And I don't know anything in my school age not even get idea never use computer but he knows most of the things Babel Singh, Piyush Raj, Yash these are the frequent contributors all thanks to Mario he, he has made the first commit in Malix and because of that all the things possible so if you wanted to get a touch with any of us you can take a snapshot and this uh, slide will also be uploaded in the Dropbox if you have some 
things, any feedback, any implementation, you can get ten, get touch with any of us. And I'm blessed that I'm one of the team members who is representing representing this. So these are the links which are already been described. Presentation: the Malik, the Malik generator system log. The Gitter channel is used basically for conversation. So thanks by Malix team. Oh, I think uh, rather than top-down control, it's open collaboration. The com this is a community-driven project, and for the power among few, this it is spread among many. And I think it's very important to get a feedback loop to to, your f to get your feedback and implement it on the con pros and cons. So thanks from me, Malix team. Any questions? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It just implemented this year only. It it just costs very less. Yeah, I know, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The manufacturer will whack up the whole disk. But I don't like. How many people here are using Windows? Dual boot. Okay. Why do you switch to? Means for what stuff you use Windows? What short of work? Means for which software you basically use Windows? No, I, I do develop Android code, so I have to code Windows as well. And I work on Windows, which is a cross-platform framework. So I need to work on both. Yeah, some people okay. don't have that option. Okay. Uh, one of those very few people is that with the anything Microsoft will get lost. Yeah. <laughs> well, I basically uh, use Windows. Uh, <laughs> that discussion, maybe you should take it off. Like, yeah, thank you. For the next speaker. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you.